Hey everyone and welcome back to another VFX vlog. It's been a little while and I've promised more behind the scenes stuff. So this is actually a look at my behind the scenes setup here. You can see that's the camera that you usually see me through on the big wide angle. I've got a little monitor here for recording as well, just so that as I'm talking to the camera, I can check out what's going on here. Now there's a couple of things that I'm currently working on. The first one is there's some new Blender tutorials coming out. I'm just putting the last touches on them. There's a two part series for how to add stencils. I want to talk a little bit about that. The next big thing is that I'm actually currently completely redoing my After Effects course. So I'm going through the entire structure, I'm rebuilding the whole thing from the ground up because my old course is a bit old. It still works for most of After Effects, but it's I just want to give it a you know a fresh update, add much more content, go more in detail, answer a lot of questions that I got on the first course. And then the third thing I quickly want to touch on, I'm releasing some more shirt designs as well. So I'm working through a few different options of getting nice shirts with really good high quality designs that don't just fall apart the first time you wash them. Again, working on that and then obviously doing the actual artwork and prepping everything for printing. So let me take you through some of that. And for that, let's jump with the Zettelin camera right over there. Nice, personal, and probably a little uncomfortable. Now, if you're wondering why all of my lights suddenly have lost all of their color, it's because I've actually got this little Nan light remote here that allows me to actually remote switch the colors. So I can actually turn the colors on and off on all of my lights and I don't have to, you know, get up like a sucker. So there's the color back. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the new tutorials for Blender that I'm currently working on. So let's jump into that. Now, the tutorial I'm hoping to release next week is for Blender. And I want to cover how to add a stencil, like an additional texture, like a stamp, a tattoo, an icon, a logo onto your 3D models in Blender. Yes, I've covered texture painting a couple of times already. And stenciling is kind of part of texture painting. But a lot of people just get lost in it. There's a little bit involved because you need to set up your UV maps and your textures and then, you know, properly paint onto the right textures. And if the model has textures already, you need to integrate it with the shader editor. So there's a few things involved. So I've got a very basic setup here. I've got this really cool low poly model of a Doom Hell Knight. And no, I didn't create this one. I actually got it off um, BlendSwap where I get a lot of my free models from. That's created by someone called Nuclid. So thank you very much. It's a really cool model. So I've got two versions here. The one on the left, doesn't have any textures. It has materials, but they're just solid colors. So there's no texture images. And we're essentially going to, you know, stencil like this little cute cat icon or this little cute cat image onto its chest. Now, because that in itself is going to take a little bit, that's going to be part one. And then in part two, I'm going to cover how to do the stenciling for a model that has textures, like you've downloaded from a game or from online or someone. You just want to add your logo or your name or something onto it. So on the right side, I've got another Hell Knight. And here, it's kind of the same model, but I've added some image textures because in order to stencil on top of that or paint on top of something like that, you do need to add additional textures, additional separate UV maps, and then integrate that in the shader editor. So it's a little bit more advanced and I figured that's worth just a part two. I'm through a lot of the editing already. I just kind of need to finalize it, clean up, fix up a few VO issues, but I'm hoping to get part one released in maybe a week's time. So that's coming, there's more Blender stuff coming. So that's coming on the tutorial front. And obviously, because I said I want to build Surface Studio out to be a sustainable business, hopefully long term. I'm also working on a much bigger project on this side, and that's building new courses. The second thing I want to talk about is that I'm currently rebuilding my Adobe After Effects beginner course. So on the Academy for Surface Studio, you'll find this After Effects complete beginner course. It's a four hour course. I put it together quite a few years ago. And while it has a lot of content and most of this is still relevant today, I kind of really want to give it a refresh. I want to kind of completely rebuild it with everything I've learned over the last few years with a lot of the feedback I've gotten for this course to really cover everything. And not just the very basics, like, you know, all of the fundamental tools for After Effects, but also some a little bit more advanced stuff like advanced text animations, working in 3D, some of the essential effects as well and how to use them as well as some tips and tricks for how to put together better visual effects and better motion graphics. Now, the project itself is pretty ambitious, I would say, especially with a little baby at home. I'm trying to find the time for it. So I'm trying to do some screen recording after I've done filming this one here. Um, but I kind of just wanted to run you through it. So this is kind of the current course that you can find on my website. And I've started planning out this course on Trello. So there's like a big Trello board with all of the different topics and lessons and course material that I need to put together to really get this new course to deliver some value because I really want people to, you know, be able to watch the course and then come out feeling really confident about Adobe After Effects. 
to the point where they could jump into any tutorial from Video Copilot, like the really advanced stuff, or you know, look at some videos on YouTube, or recreate anime intro sequences or transformations, or anything they wanted, and they would understand how that would work. Now, the course initially is going to be geared to beginners, because I think that's where most value lies, where people are trying to learn something new that they haven't done before, especially After Effects has a bit of a learning curve. So I'm really hoping that the course will then help all of those people get over the hump, get familiar with the tools and techniques of Adobe After Effects, and I'm always keen to teach techniques and tools rather than recipes. I'm not a big fan of, you know, the ones of recipes that, yes, on YouTube, I do that a lot for some of my visual effects, but I always try to explain why I'm doing stuff. And I want to do the same thing with the new course. I'm also thinking about making some courses on how to make and sell courses because I do it on my website. So I'm, I'm quite keen to, you know, talk a little bit about the business side and how to actually make money online. Again, if you're interested, leave me some comments down below. I've been doing this for many years. I really enjoy the process. So that's one of the big projects that I'm working on at the moment alongside trying to release some more content as well as some of the new tutorials. Finally, let's talk about some t-shirt designs. If you've been around long enough, you know that I've for quite a long time been selling my own t-shirt designs. I'm always wearing like different ones as well. Like this one here for the Action Cat uh, catastrophe and one that I personally quite like is the Catuccino. Now I'm not here to sell you my shirts. The main reason I'm talking about shirt designs is because I've sold them through Spreadshirt, Redbubble, Teespring, and a couple of other places that I can hook into YouTube or through my website. But I've never found the quality to be great. Like the t-shirts are always like kind of like flimsy. The, the prints themselves aren't great quality. The color isn't terribly accurate. It doesn't feel very dense. It also wears out a lot as you wash them too many times. So never been too happy with that. So I'm currently revisiting both the designs. So we've come up with some new designs that are quite appropriate to us as nerdy people. And we're looking for a new printing company. We found one through our friend Violet, who makes the game Moonlight in Garnet, which is kind of a Stardew Valley in the city. By the way, check it out if you want cozy, you know, relaxing games. I'm going to drop you the link down below for that. So she found a company that makes really nice heat transfer, high quality. The shirts that she got for her game and the branding was just top quality. You could wash them. The Obviously, because you can pick the shirts on which you print them, you can determine the quality. You just ship them out yourself or you get a company to ship them out. And the prints themselves, super great quality, very elastic. They don't rip. The color is great. They look really vibrant and they're very resilient. So we've washed them many, many times. They hold up really well. So I'm really working on redoing some of these designs and then once we figured all of that out, because it is a little bit more overhead, right? If you go Teespring, Redbubble, you just upload your design, go sell. It's easy, right? So we're kind of going down the route that is a little bit more effort. Also need to redo all the designs, get them into the right templates, get them to the printing company to get the, you know, the heat transfers printed out. Then we need to get the shirts, try different sizes, match all of that together. And hopefully something that'll come out will actually be a lot more high quality. So we're really looking for something that's a little bit more custom, a little bit more high quality. And when all of that launches, I'll probably do a giveaway on this channel as well, if you're interested. Can't talk too much about the details or the deadlines or when stuff will happen just yet. But I'm hoping that it'll be worth it and I'll keep you all up to date. But that's all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button. And with that, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later.